This is a, a coding ring I made for my great granddaughter to play with her friends. Uh, it's, the ring can be used to send messages between the two of them. Each has to have a copy of the ring. With this coding ring, there are quite a lot of possibilities of letters. The diagrams shown in a minute show the outer and inner ring and the complete coding ring. These were made using a smart notebook, but you could make a copy by pausing the video and taking a screenshot. The better way is to press Shift, Windows key and S together. You can highlight the area you want to copy and even copy to the clipboard. There's no need to pause the video for this. Then print out two copies onto thick paper. You could stick thinner paper onto cardboard if you wish it. I've used uh, a thin paper because my printer won't print very thick board and I've laminated them but you have to have laminated for that. These are now on the clipboard. You can view the clipboard at any time by pressing Win key V, Windows key V. And then if you just open a page in maybe Word or Notepad, press Win key V, click on the image, I know the copy to the page. You can try that. So we've got Shift, Win key S. These are the two discs I made. Uh, the outer disc in yellow and the inner disc in green. Let's show how we copy these. You need to press Shift Windows key S. And now you see it's all and I want to copy them both. I just draw air around them, leave go, and it's saved to the clipboard. Okay, how do we use the ring? First of all, we set the ring to any position, the key for the message. In this case, uh, down below, N is set to V. Both the sender and the receiver must know the key. So you need a sort of a code book, if you like, where the key for the day is stored. Now, if we say the send the code for, say, money, we read from the outer ring to the inner ring. Here, M equals M, O equals P, N equals V, E equals J, and Y equals Q. The message would be M, P, V, J, Q. The person receiving the message would then set the ring to the key, N equals V, and read from the inner ring to the outer ring, giving money. Without the key, it would be very difficult to decode the message. Not impossible, because during the war, messages were decoded, but more complicated than this anyway. If, you, uh, if you've probably heard about the enigma, and that was very difficult to decode. If we add more rings, it makes the code more difficult. This shows a three ring code. And here you can decide whether to set the outer ring to the middle ring, the middle ring to the next ring, or, or the outer ring to the center ring. Quite a few combinations there to get the, to get the code. So this is the, the coding ring. I uh, hope you uh, will make it. It's easy to make. Now you can use that shift the wing key s to copy the bit and also a wing key v to copy to a word or whatever you like when you've done it print out two copies two copies one for one disc or one for another you can either put them on thick board if your printer will withstand a thick board or you could just cut them out and stick them onto a thicker board. To get through the uh, center, I, I used uh, testers. 
but there are all different ways you can make sure the, the rings rotate. But I hope that's been useful to you, and I hope you can make yourself a couple of coding rings. Thank you.